Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barbie here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to, or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. Everybody, welcome back to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, if you can't afford one, don't have access to one, we can help. Email us, I need a Bible, to support at feedmysheeptoday.org. It's right here. Take a screenshot of it, okay? And let us know that you need a Bible. And we'll send you a free Bible, free shipping, anywhere on earth, just for you. And if you like what we're doing here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out for a while. Kick the tires, all right? It's always good to get as much information as you can, especially in these final hours that we're in. And here, you're going to receive great information about dreams and visions, and especially the UFO phenomenon that we're dealing with right now, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, in this dream, this is from Judy, and I know... Many of you are going to jump to conclusions. Just let me finish your dream here before you say anything. <laughs> okay, because I will say plenty. Don't worry about that. Okay, but this is from Judy. Judy said, I had a dream sometime in 2011, 2012, and I dreamt. And I saw the Virgin Mary, you know, the Mary that uh, appears in Portugal, Fatima, and all that stuff, that, which is tied to these aliens. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I came for 28 years of Catholicism, okay? I'm the biggest advocate of nobody worships Mary. I'm the biggest advocate of that. I did the Knights of Columbus. I did all that crazy stuff before I got saved, okay? So trust me, don't worship Mary. I don't worship Mary. You should not worship Mary. Nobody worship Mary. We only worship our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, okay? We only worship Jesus, our Lord and Savior, okay? But let me finish this dream here, okay? I had a dream. I dreamt I saw the Virgin Mary in the tree in my parents' front yard when I lived there. She showed herself in the tree trunk. She was very beautiful and she said to me, one day you will see strange things. And she pointed behind me and I saw a UFO with two planes or helicopters on each side taking it to a nearby base. She said they will come here and say they made us and want us to worship them. She said, don't do this, only worship our Lord in heaven. They will appear as aliens, but they are the fallen angels, and we are not to enter into any alliance with them. When I woke up, I saw the outline of where Mary was at, and you could only see it at sunrise. So she actually went to the tree, 
she saw in her dream and she saw an outline of Mary in that same tree she saw in her dream. Hmm, interesting. You know, Mary has a funny way of showing up in trees and showing up in, you know, nacho chips and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, it beat as a me. Okay, this is what happened. No picture would show it. Also to mention, I'm not a Catholic. Well, good. Okay. Catholics believe in Mary. They have faith in Mary, you know, for their salvation. And they're going to be sadly mistaken when they die and they end up in hell. What happened? Well, Mary's blood was not shed for their salvation. Mary's sacrifice was not given for their salvation. Okay. Now, this dream here showed Mary... In the tree. Now, how do you know it was Mary? Could have been anybody in that tree. Okay. She chose to say it was Mary. Okay. Now, can Mary be sent to warn us of different things? Yeah. I hear about it all the time. My mom's Catholic and she's always talking about Mary showed up and gave these secrets. Mary showed up and gave these warnings. Mary showed up and did this and that. Yeah. And I don't put faith in Mary warnings, okay? But in this tree, though, she saw a face of a woman. And she did tell her the truth that these aliens that are coming, they are the fallen host of heaven, that we should not be in alliance with them. So whatever this was, at least they're telling the truth. Can Mary be sent to warn us of impending doom? I guess anybody could be sent by our Lord to warn us, some spirit or something like that. Does God give saints special jobs here on earth to do while here on earth? Perhaps, maybe. But here's the thing. If Mary shows up and starts warning everybody, you know, Mary's testimony here is tainted right now because it's all been hijacked by the fallen angels. So it's kind of, a, you know... The, the irony here. <laughs> but be it as it may, whoever this was, at least she told the truth. Okay? Please comment. What do you guys think about this dream? Okay? What do you guys think about this Mary showing up and giving us a warning? Okay? If I saw Mary appear in front of me and try to give me a warning about something, um, sorry, it's just tainted. With all the merry, crazy stuff happening in the Middle East and Portugal and all this stuff and the crazy appearings and stuff like that. I'm just, don't believe it. <laughs> but at least I believe this, whoever this, whoever this was, whatever this was, at least they're telling the truth. Don't take the mark that will cause you to be in alliance with them. Okay. Friends, I got good news for you. The time's almost at hand. We're about to go home and rapture resurrection. It's almost time to leave, which means the time window is now closing for you to build up your eternal rewards in heaven that you will receive at the Bema Seat Judgment. Rewards that will dictate how you and your family will live forever. So are you out there preaching the saving grace gospel of Jesus Christ? 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 You need to be out there in the streets, you need to be knocking on doors, you need to be speaking to large crowds, you need to be talking to everybody everywhere you go. Have you been doing that? I would say probably most of you have not. And that's okay. Because many of you probably didn't know this, God has probably called you to be a seed sower and not a waterer that does all those things I just mentioned on a big scale. In 1 Corinthians 3, 7-9, it talks about those who sow the seeds and those who water the seeds. It says that both of them have one purpose and each will be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. So the seed sower and the water are co-workers together on the same project. The same project that will reward them their eternal rewards. So are you a part of this one project? It doesn't matter if you're the sower or the water. Just get involved in the project. Question is now, do you want a lot of rewards or do you want a little? Do you want to plant a whole farm or just plant some pottery plants hanging off your window? Or maybe something in the middle? It's up to you. Either way, whatever you want to do here at Feed My Sheep Today, we can make it happen for you in a big way.
because we already have the infrastructure in place. Over the years, we have built a huge network of waterers, which are your Christian missionaries, all over the world. These missionaries are preaching the right gospel. They're doing all the right things. They are all established. They are all established with us. They are all mobile, and they move all around their country. Everything's ready to go. All they need is just seed. So no matter what size seed you sow here, it is immediately spread out into all those high impact watering areas, the best fertile ground where nothing will be wasted, where you will see the maximum results of the growth of the body of Christ. And what our missionaries will do exactly is they will be purchasing and distributing KJV English Bibles so the people that can't read English and will also buy and distribute Bibles in their own native languages. And we will be distributing those Bibles for free to those who come to the belief in the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And those people will come to that belief through the preaching from the missionary and the missionary's team and also through audiovisual presentations that will also be presented at those times that help explain the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ and the gift of salvation that came with it. On top of all this, we will also be bringing food, water, blankets, medical supplies, all the humanitarian relief aid that we will need to help the people in these hard to reach areas. We're not going into the cities and all that stuff, everybody. We're going into those forgotten places where nobody wants to help these poor people who barely have enough money to put an extra shirt on their back. We come into these areas and we try to help these people as much as we can before the preaching begins. And that's just the right thing to do. On top of all this, Feed My Sheep Today also supports orphanages in many different countries throughout the world. You will be able to feed children, give them food, clothing, education, shoes, hygiene products, provide them beds, and much, much more. So there is so much going on right now in all the different facets of Feed My Sheep today. So when you sow your seed, you can be rest assured that great things will be generated from it. So all of you who have given before, please, we need your help right now. All you people who have never given before, this is what you do. You go to our website, feedmysheeptoday.org. Link is below. This is a very user-friendly website. Just choose how you want to give. You can give by PayPal, credit card, bank draft. Click on the amount you want to give or enter a custom amount. Or just simply send your gift in the mail. You want to make a real big difference over time? Then would you please consider joining our monthly sustainer program? You could change the world with just $10 a month. That will purchase three new Bibles for three new believers every month. Or perhaps you want to do more. That will be greatly welcomed. Any amount is so greatly appreciated here. And any of you out there that want to support the orphanages, please even consider giving $100 a month because that amount will purchase a whole new bed for an orphan. This includes the frame, the mattress, the sheets, the blankets, the pillows, everything. Just go to feedmysheeptoday.org and everything you need is right there. And while you're there, check out the pictures, check out the videos, check out the articles, check out everything. And folks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can keep track of everything that's going on with the funding that comes into this ministry. You can change the world in a godly way starting with Feed My Sheep Today. Thank you, Jesus. See my today. Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you for your much needed continued support to Feed My Sheep Today, Christian missions all around the world. We can't do what we do if it wasn't for you great people financially supporting us so we could take that money and send it to all the missionaries and get the work of God done while we're still here on the earth, while we can still do it, okay? You guys are making a huge difference all over the world. And great in heaven will your rewards be at the BMC judgment from everything that is manifested here at Feed My Sheep today because of your support. And great in heaven will your rewards be. Amen, amen.